They Rowdy just found a gopher. She's all excited about finding the gopher. So here we are in the barrel room, one of my favorite places. Um, 22 inch walls buried in the ground, 14 feet. It's about 58 degrees in here right now. This room stays warm in the winter, meaning warmer, but cold all summer, all by nat natural, we, and we have solar that helps us keep it cool. We are what I would consider a fairly heavy barrel house, meaning we use quite a bit of new oak on our wines, and, and in the neighborhood of, of 40 to 60% new barrels in each vintage that we do. We buy very expensive $1,200 French oak barrels that the grain is very tight. And so even though we age them quite a while, it's a fairly gentle process because of the tightness of the grains. If we used American oak, we could age our wines quicker. It puts more flavor in faster. But since we use our barrels on our white wines first, um, it would make our white wines too strong if we did that process. So if this wine was in a stainless steel tank, sealed, or, or a glass bottle, sealed, um, it would not continue to breathe. And so the process that a barrel allows you to do, it's fairly unique to these tight grain barrels. We want a baby, baby, baby amount of oxygen to be exposed to this wine. We call it micro-oxidation. So these barrels are breathing. These wines are still a living thing. There's still a lot of stuff going on. So we really like to give the wines uh, quite a while, anywhere from, from 22 to 32 months. We buy these French barrels for the red wine, primarily. But one of the things that's an old technique that's used in Burgundy a lot, and I use it on everything, I like to season all of these barrels with white wine to take a little bit of that barrel flavor and harshness out of the barrels. And then we turn around and bottle those wines in March. And then we put that red wine from this year into these brand new barrels that have only had white wine in them for about three months. And so the process, as I describe it, if you had five cups of hot water and you put a tea bag in the first cup and you left it there for a little bit and then you moved it down and did it and moved it down, you would have strong tea to light tea. Barrels impart flavor for about five years. Now this company, World Cooperage, we order this wood from Bordeaux, the French forest that we love the flavors from. They actually bring the wood to the United States and make these barrels in Missouri. And one of the things we love about World Cooperage is their science on how to toast is way more sophisticated than other parts of the world. In fact, some of the best coopers in the world are actually in the United States because of the whiskey industry and the wine industry. So this barrel, when it says Profile 58, that's a pretty complex heat curve that is how long this barrel was toasted and how fast and how hot. So I love to describe it like marshmallows. Everybody knows they love my analogies. One way to make a marshmallow is just burn the hell out of it, catch it on fire, and that's gonna taste a certain way. Another way to make a marshmallow is, is ways that people drive me crazy. Oh, it's gotta be just perfect, it's gotta be just brown. So that heat, that you do to that marshmallow and the way that that affects that marshmallow, pretty simple definition of when we are ordering up different toasts is how hot and how fast, which has to do with how the wine will extract it back out of the barrel. How long do we put our wines in oak is a style. It doesn't make it the best way, it doesn't make it the right way, it doesn't make it the only way but it becomes the way that still water does it. So our style here is fairly consistent and fairly defined. We put white wines in all the new barrels first to season them. Makes our white wines unique in a style in a way. Short period of time, three months. We then age, once we put red wine in this barrel, we leave the red wine in the barrel for an uh, extra 10 to 12 months longer than normal in California. Why is that? I've always liked the way that the wines start to change in the 20th to 30th month. Most wines you get in the grocery stores or in stores or in distribution, about 18 months. They, ne they never even see that other period. Why doesn't everybody do it? Um, we just got done topping the barrels in this room yesterday. Takes $5,000 worth of wine 
to fill the airspace that is created in this barrel every month and a half. So the evaporation, we call it microoxidation, that's letting this barrel get a little bit of baby, baby oxidation, concentrating the flavors. If we don't add wine back to this barrel, this airspace will cause oxidation of the wine in the barrel. And so why a lot of places don't want to invest the extra year is it's very expensive. Um, we probably have almost $80,000 worth of topping expense just to keep these 200 barrels for an extra year.